Hey everybody, welcome to the Old School Cannabis Project today with myself, Blue Skies and Rich. This episode's called Will Bodie of Plant Morse Seeds Tell the Truth? And this is not a call out, but a shout out to an old friend of mine, Bodie of Plant Morse Seeds. As I mentioned before, me and Bodie used to be regular in contact. I used to call him a friend, no doubt, 100%. He was a friend back in... 2017 just before and after the fire we used to talk on the connoisseur community um, a private forum of only 100 people some of them big names in the breeding industry and some of them just regular growers but anyway Bodhi was on there as I'm sure he will confirm when I was known as Sativa Breather before joining Instagram and as I say we used to have nice friendly chats every week in DMs and I sent him seeds. And this is just one thing I want to clarify, because as everyone knows, a lot of people like to troll, cause problems, make shit in the community. And some goofy cocksuckers actually, I think, hit up Bodhi saying, Blue Skies are saying you got your skunk from him, which I'll say now I'm categorically not saying that he got the skunks that he's released on the market today from me. But it's quite possible he did some work. This is why I'm shouting out to Bodhi to come on the show and talk all things old school, skunk, land race, etc. Because I used to really vibe with Bodhi back in the day. We're very different people in some ways, but also very similar in how we work with the plants. And he's the only person, really, that works with the plants in a similar way to me, genuinely. There's a lot of people trying to hop on the bandwagon of how we do things now. But, yeah, me and Bodhi used to really vibe with how we do our do our work and how we our relationship with the plant so anyway back in the day i did send bodhi uh quite a bunch of seeds different varieties that i had that i'd made um when i did the initial preservation uh he was going to send me some seeds back in return um what were they oh hippie killer hippie killer f2 because in our chats we found his hippie killer f2 seemed to have very similar tip profiles to my purple garlic pickled onion vinegar skunk. So I sent Bodhi some seeds. He received them. And I believe shortly after that, the forum, uh, that's how we originally fell out of contact or communication because that private forum unfortunately died a death um, due to a complete loser who tried ripping me off with my seeds. It backfired. And anyway, the, the forum ended and so did my communication with Bodhi. So in an effort to reopen the communication lines, this little episode is just a call out, a shout out to Bodhi, an invitation to come. It's not in any way an interrogation. It's not a, a hostile conversation. If anything's complete reverse, we'd love to have him on as a podcast guest to talk about his work, to talk about anything he would like to talk about and to talk about my skunks and to give him the opportunity to grow some seeds I've got currently and also plenty of people now in America have cuttings of various skunks they found from our packs. And I'm sure we can get some cuttings to Bodhi. And then he's somebody who's respected in the community who can verify the truth of what I say. Um, verification not needed because it's 100% proven, but nonetheless, it would shut up a lot of people. Now, Bodhi's friends, with people who talk a lot of shit about me, so he may not want to upset them. He doesn't rock the boat. Now, I've got to say, I respect how Bodhi keeps out of drama, but I don't respect if he's got to keep quiet and let people talk shit about me when he knows the truth. So he knows certain truths. He knows that I was talking about having skunk back in 20, from 2015, 2016, through to 2017, when I... It was either 2017 or 18, I sent him some seeds. I'd have to think clearly about when the site went down, but it's that time period, you know, a few years back now. And trust me, back in them days when me and Bo used to chat about skunk, he hadn't, had, he didn't have that turf profile locked in. He had some plants that were musky, some were this, some were that, but they weren't dead skunk spray. So if he's now claiming to have dead skunk spray, because he was saying he was having difficulty locating it, then... There is a chance he got it from mine because my seeds are guaranteed 
skunk spray. No, oh, it's a little bit garlic, a little bit onion, a little bit musky, a little bit cami. No, it's fucking like a dead skunk or skunk spray when people find skunk phenos in the tip sound tickets pack or the boss pack. So anyway, that's pretty much this episode. I'd also invite anybody listening to hit up Bodhi themselves if you'd like to hear the truth if you'd like to see if anything i'm saying right now or in the past is bullshit or fact you hit up Bodhi because um and you hit up anybody else we cover in these podcasts because i'm a 100 percent nothing but straight truth i don't need to tell any lies because if you've got 100 percent truth telling lies is absolutely going to be fucking retarded and going to harm your cause but every single thing i say is truth and we live in an age where people are hated for telling the truth. But tough fucking shit. I don't say ever a single lie because I've got no need to. Every single thing I say is truth. That's why after four years of all these fucking losers in the community trying to do me down and get rid of me. So I'm still here because the facts speak for themselves. The skunk posted on my on my feed across fucking nearly 50 accounts now on Instagram because that's the only way these pussies can compete with me is to snitch up the accounts. If Instagram didn't have a, such a bullshit um, policy where you can get rid of people's accounts through bullshit reporting and faggy feminine behaviour, then I'd probably have 100,000 fucking followers now. So I've had you know, old news. Everybody knows 40-odd accounts, five to 10,000 on many of them. I've reached a lot of people. Everyone knows who I am. Bodhi certainly knows who I am. So if anybody doubts or refutes anything I've got to say, you hit up Bodhi. You tell him about the nice, friendly invitation he's got to come on here to resurrect his friendship with me, to tell the truth about anything I've said or otherwise, and to accept the invitation to grow some seeds that I've got now and cut in here. I guess that's pretty much it. Just to reiterate, no beef for Bodhi. Totally respect him. Like him very much. And would love to have him on as a guest. Again, though, if he was to say no, same as anybody else we offer on the show, I would say, you know, not so much for Bodhi, to be honest, but for example, when we call out other people and they... We're met with silence. Silence is golden. Silence tells as much truth as people running their mouths does, you know? So why would Bodhi not want to come on the podcast, have a nice conversation, obtain some new genetics to grow, um, educate the community, because this is one of my main beefs about a lot of these fake cunts, of which I don't claim Bodhi is one, but a lot of these twats are out there. Oh, I'm about community. I'm about spreading knowledge and awareness and uh, education and telling people about the true medicine. But they'll stand absolutely silent about the person with the number one best medicinal genetics in the community. So, yeah, why would Bodhi not want to come on and talk all things old school genetics? So anyway, fam, I'll leave it with that. You guys hit up Bodhi. Tell him he's welcome on here and we'll hear the truth. We'll hear the truth from Bodhi and we'll hear the truth from me. So that's this episode of the Old School Cannabis Project Concluded Fam. Just a little short one. Shout out in the comments anything you've got to say on this topic and have a good day. <laughs>